Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going through part two of setting up your Lightning Web Component Developer Tools project on Trailhead. So let's go ahead and jump into it. For this project, we are going to be creating a Lightning Web Component that shows contact information on the account record page. So, what I would recommend is on one side having your trailhead open and on the other having your Visual Studio Code uh, portal open as well, just so then you can see what the instructions are and also be able to see your code as you're writing it, which is what I have done here. So let's go ahead, jump in and get started. So in our Visual Studio Code, we're gonna go to creating a project. And you're going to want to create a standard project and hit enter for the project name and it's going to be trailhead and then you're going to hit enter which i've already done and you can see over here on the explorer that we have our trailhead project open so the next thing that we're going to want to do over here on our instructions is authorize our developer hub we enabled it in the last video but now we're actually going to do that. And so what happened? So let's go ahead and click allow. Usually what would happen was you'd authorize your developer hub over here in your studio code. It'll open up a new tab um, in your browser and then you'd authorize your dev hub. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and create a scratch org. So again, command shift P SFDX create a default scratch org. And we're going to accept the default here for all of these. So our alias is going to be trailhead and then seven days is how long it's going to run for. And you can see it's running. All right, now we're going to jump into our web component. So we're going to go force app, lightning web component, LWC. And then from there, Command shift P, focus, terminal. All right, and this is where we want to have this open as well. We're going to copy and paste this into our CLI terminal down here and then hit enter. All right, awesome. Okay, let's see. We're going to go ahead and click on the metadata down here. Command click. Awesome. All right, we have opened our first Lightning Web component. So let's go ahead and over here, we're going to copy and paste this code into our metadata. Then command save. And 
JSON last time, and then we're going to go into our .js file and replace the code there as well. And save. And you can see that this track has a squiggly line and that is an error, but we're gonna be figuring that out in the next video. So we'll go ahead and stay tuned for that. You can also see that this turned to red. All right, now we're gonna go into our HTML file. And then in between the template, we're gonna copy and paste this code from Trailhead. Commit save. All right, and that is it for now. We'll come back and we will figure out all the errors from our code in the next video. And it's gonna be really cool and it'll all come together. All right, thank you for joining me for part two of set up your Lightning Web Component Developer Tools. Be sure to join me for part three. This will be our final part. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and drop down in the comments below and tell me what kind of video you'd like to see next. Is there something within um, the developer world of Salesforce that you don't understand? I'd be happy to explain it to you guys. Um, but yeah, be sure to check out my channel and my other videos. I'll catch you in the next one.